safe space, your happiest place. Create a home you love. Hey, hey, hey. I am so excited to share this kitchen project with you. If this is the first time you're watching me, I'm Remya Warrior, owner of Kitchen Designers NJ. We are an interior design based firm that specializes in space planning and kitchen design. We are located at 12 Reckless Place, Red Bank, New Jersey. So let's get started. But first, a little background about the project. I'm working on a condo in the Monmouth Beach area and it's the client's second home. Now let's take a look at what their kitchen looks like right now. It's a very small kitchen and they hardly have any cabinets. The clients really want to open up the space and make it look larger while making sure that they have enough storage. As you can see, the kitchen is a tight space and not very well designed. For starters, there's a lot of dead space that has no purpose. They also have the baseboard heating under this cabinet, so they just put a desk area here. So let's look at the wish list of this customer. They want two-tone cabinets with white on top and gray on the bottom. They want a cabinet possibly for the trash and for recycling. They want deep drawers for their pots and pans. They want a space that can I can incorporate open shelving in. And finally, they want marble looking countertops, preferably quartz. So here's the plan. First, we're going to move the refrigerator to the other wall. Behind this wall is a closet. So the customer would like to put a stackable washer dryer in that space and have the refrigerator slide in. The 24 inch depth fridge isn't going to be big enough for them. So they said they're willing to give part of that closet up in order to get the look of a counter deep fridge. I was able to give them two good options. This is option one. We have part of the wall still up and we have two wall corner cabinets. They requested one of them to be glass. We have a pipe in the soffit above the window wall. If we aren't able to move that into the wall, then we'll need a way to hide those pipes. We can do that by using a balance above the sink and make the molding go all the way to the ceiling. This option also allows us to have two corner lazy Susans adding a ton of storage. We can also fit in the trash pull out as well as a nine inch spice rack or a tray cabinet. This is option two, which is my personal favorite. We start by taking off the entire wall to give a true open concept. With the extra space, we can add some floating shelves and the two wall sconces by the window for some extra glamour. In here, we'll build a six inch soffit on just that wall in order to hide those pipes and we will run the same crown moldings throughout the entire house. This kitchen will also have a bigger sink and a cabinet that can be opened from the other side. Both options will make the kitchen very functional by utilizing every inch of space. When I'm able to make the kitchen more functional, I get so excited. Or the kitchen designer part of me gets excited. Who wants to waste space anyway? Now let's look at the finish options. This is where the interior designer in me gets excited. Generally, our design is based on the nine layers of kitchen design. First layer is flooring. So the clients have decided to use these vinyl tiles that looks like wood. It's very easy to clean and maintain. Two things that are perfect for a beach home. Don't you agree? Our second layer is cabinets. So our client wants a white kitchen with a light gray for the base cabinets. Instead of a painted gray, I suggested they do a grayish cabinet and this one is a stain instead of a paint. The grayish is becoming more popular as beige color is making a comeback. Layer three is counters and in this case quartz. They prefer quartz as it gives a more simple and contemporary look. Fourth layer is about appliances. All the kitchens these days are designed around appliances and my clients have decided to go with stainless steel look. The fifth layer is backsplash and we have two good options for us over here. We have a mosaic marble backsplash and we have a subway tile backsplash. 
I like this subway tile as it brings a subtle sheen giving it a high end look while also giving it that handmade look with a beachy vibe. Our sixth layer is the plumbing supply. This is where we talk about the sink and the faucets. Now they already have the faucet that they bought. So we're just supplying an undermount stainless steel sink. Seventh layer is lighting. Lighting plays a big role in all of my designs. I like to incorporate both the task lighting as well as overall lighting. Overall lighting is going to come from recess lights throughout the space. And for task lighting, we're using pendant lights and under cabinet lights. Layer number eight is wall treatments. Yes, it's finally time to talk about paint. So I'm suggesting this color by Sherwin Williams. It's called Big Chill. We are going for a tone on tone look. So this light gray color, it gives that subtle contrast with the white cabinets. By the dining area, I was suggesting that they use a vinyl wallpaper in order to bring some extra color and depth into their design. And finally, our ninth layer is window treatments and hardware. The client really wants a clean and contemporary looking hardware. So these are the options that I'm suggesting. For the window treatments, I'm proposing a Roman shade and I'm giving them three different fabric options for that. I am really excited with how this kitchen is going to look by the time we are done with the renovation. Even if you have a small space, you can bring a lot of personality in your home. If you like this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.